Well, today you're going to get a two for one special because today I'm going to show you how to make an Americano and I'm going to also give you a quick review on the Calphalon IQ espresso machine, something I just kind of recently stumbled across and added it to my uh, um, espresso toys. Um, so let me just give you a quick overview of the Calphalon. I ran into this a few weeks ago um, at my uh, niece's uh, house. Um, down in North Carolina while we were visiting and uh, they had one and uh, I watched it in operation I was like hmm that's a pretty nice little machine to have there and uh, so I did a little research on it and uh, I decided uh, that I would go ahead and grab one and uh, test it out and uh, the reason why because it is a very good uh, machine that's a, at a reasonable price. This is an entry-level machine. As you all know, I had did the review on the uh, Flare Neo, which is another entry-level espresso machine, but totally manual. Um, so now I'm going to show you how you can uh, get into the espresso world utilizing a pump machine here and uh, make life a little bit easier if you don't want to go through all the hassle of using a hand machine. So. Um, what is it? Well, let me go ahead and turn it on. Let it heat up a little bit here. Um, it is a pump machine. It is, uh, I want to say semi-automatic. Uh, I'm not going to say fully automatic or super automatic because uh, you do have to do some maneuvering of some dials here. It is. It has thermal block technology um, with PID control. So that means it doesn't have a boiler. That, um, and what that also means is that um, it's going to, with the PID control it's going to provide the perfect temperature for extracting espresso like between 195 and 200 so uh, that's what it's got going for it. the only drawback that i see to that is that it does say that it has a uh, cup warmer on the top well it gets a little bit warm but because there's no boiler in there it doesn't get as warm as most uh, boiler machines do so you really don't get a really good uh, heating of your uh, cups on the top what do i do i heat them with hot water um, it does have a hot water function. It also has a steam wand function. Now, as for the automatic features on the machine, it will automatically pull one or two shots. It'll, it'll time out um, the amount of time and the amount of water that needs to go through the machine to provide a perfect shot or a double shot. Um, and then it will turn off. However, what I don't like about this is that it may turn off, the pump does turn off, but you've got to turn the knob back to uh, back to uh, the ready position. So eh, it's not a big deal. It's an entry level machine. So um, that's my, my little quirk about it. The other thing that makes it a little bit different uh, from a boiler type machine is that there is a little lag between the time that you pull a shot of espresso and that you can use the steam wand. It's usually about 15 seconds. Um, whereas a boiler machine, you can almost simultaneously um, pull a shot and, and steam milk at the same time. At least I can with my, uh, my Bezerra commercial machine. And you're probably wondering, what happened to his Bezerra? I still have my Bezerra. In fact, it was just in the shop getting a tune-up on it. It'll be coming out here soon, and uh, I'll be pulling some stuff out of that as well. Um, so there you go. That's just a brief tour on the Calphalon. Now, if you want to get into this, um, they retail about $500. Okay, that's retail at $500 from Calphalon. You can get them for about $250 on Amazon, um, eBay. Now, here's a, here's a little hint. You, I got this one for dirt cheap. I got it through eBay. If you look at eBay, you can get these at a very, very reasonable price. And I look for stuff that's new, open box items. So you find a reputable uh, eBay uh, seller, which I have. And, uh, you know, you work for them. And I also want to do my eBay shopping. I also look for the, the deals that, uh, that uh, ask you to make an offer on something. So the, the price isn't uh, solid. You can go in there. You can make an offer. 90% of the time, my offers get accepted. Um, I do kind of shy away from bidding because, you know, I did, I did go down that route for a while. And, you know, the bidding thing, you know, it didn't, uh, didn't do anything for me. You know, losing out on, on items, you know, at the last second as people just pile on the bids. Not for me. But anyways, you can get a reasonable priced new um, machine, open box item, um, for a reasonable price. So um, I encourage you to go that route. In fact, I will put a link in my uh, in the description below 
of the uh, seller that I use that comes across these all the time. So, anyways, let's get on to uh, Americano. What's an Americano? Well, for those that uh, enjoy American brewed coffee, um, well, it's sort of like that, but it's a lot better. So here's the difference. With brewed coffee, the grind is more coarse. What does that mean? It means that not all of the bean is open to the extraction, to the coffee extraction, to the water. Um, whereas espresso grind, you're cutting up more of the bean. It's more finer. More of that bean is uh, um, exposed to the hot water, and you get more of the solids, more of the oils, more of the CO2 out of that bean. Thus, that means you get better flavor. Um, I did this a lot with the customers that would come in my shop, and yeah, they didn't. They, they kind of wanted to try espresso, but they had a bad experience before. They, you know, they probably got crappy espresso from somebody, and uh, and I said, well, you know, try an americano. If you like brewed coffee, try this guy. I'm gonna, I can guarantee it's going to be much better flavored than than a, a regular brewed coffee. And I would pull a shot. I would make an americano for him. Next thing you know, oh wow, that has a lot of flavor. Now that, and then I would put a regular brew coffee in front of him. Say, now go try, try that. And then he says, wow, that's just like water. I said, there you go. More flavor in an Americano made with espresso. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make an Americano. So let's start with the beans. I have 18 grams of beans that I've weighed out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my grinder over here, my espresso grinder. I'm going to go ahead and get my portafilter ready. Okay, beans are in the hopper. Now, let's go ahead and prep the portafilter. What I'm going to do is go ahead and heat this up. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it for one shot. It does a pre-infusion uh, pre on here, which I love. This basically soaks the beans a little bit, gets them all pr uh, primed up and ready for the, uh, the espresso. There we go. So, I'll let my cup warm up over here. And then I'll go ahead and... Uh, prep my uh, puck for our espresso. What you want to do is make sure that your portafilter is thoroughly dry. Now I've upgraded this machine already with a naked portafilter and uh, let me see this is the portafilter that comes with it. It has that kind of cheater jacketed portafilter to it. Great for beginners if you're if you don't have access to a good grinder you can buy pre-ground coffee and you'll get really good results with this portafilter. Because I have a grinder, I prefer to go with my naked portafilters and I have everything dialed in um, and ready to go for that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, dosing funnel on here on my portafilter. We'll go over here, grind our beans. So that takes about the same amount of time as my uh, my manual hand grinder. Now I'm going to go ahead and declump my espresso grinds. It's very important. This prevents uh, helps to prevent channeling, and channeling is where the puck isn't uh, fully formed. It may have some cracks in it, um, some voids, and uh, the water will escape and you know take the route of uh, least resistance, and you won't get a full extraction. So, went ahead and uh, did my declumping, get things uh, settled out here. Then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and distribute the coffee, get it nice and smooth all the way across the top of the surface. I'll go ahead and put it in here, nice and flat. Go ahead and smooth out the top of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the puck. About 50 pounds of pressure. Nice and clean, no coffee along the inside of the uh, portafilter rim. We're ready to go. Oh, and I have one of these nice dispersion screens. Uh, they help prevent coffee back flushing and getting into your group head filter. All right, cup is nice and warm. Portafilter in place. Down for two shots. I like mine strong. OK, 
Okay, so that's about 30 seconds. Turn it off. Got my glass over here. Now, I can go ahead. I normally have a, a pot over here for hot water. Um, this does take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use my hot water feature over here. And I'll start putting the hot water in my glass. See, and the best thing about Americano is you can start strong. And you can go ahead and ease off it if you want to. If you want to uh, smooth it out a little bit, make it less strong, all you're going to do is add more hot water to it. You can see the steam coming out of here? I know we're getting perfectly, uh, perfectly temperatures and water out of here. Okay, there we go. Now all we do is take our espresso into the water, the hot water. And there you have an Americano. I gotta tell you, it's pretty easy and, and you still get, look at that, nice crumb on the top. So you're gonna get full flavor out of this coffee. Nothing against a, a decent brewed coffee, um, but once you try one of these, I guarantee you're not gonna go back. Perfect. Actually, I kind of went shy. I left, I got out maybe less than an ounce left in here. Huh. I like mine strong. There you go. Perfect Americano. Um, got a nice little overview on the Calphalon IQ here. I will come back in about uh, six months and let you know how it's holding up. Um, like I said, this is an entry level machine. You can get into it at a very reasonable price. Just got to shop around. Obviously, you don't want to pay the full $400 retail price on it. Look around, Amazon, eBay, you can get them. Uh, they're well built. So far, I've had this for like two weeks. No issues yet. Um, so again, we'll be back in six months. I'll let you know how it's going. So hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, share. And so right over here, go ahead and uh, punch the logo. And that'll make it so much easier for you to subscribe. So until next time, thanks, and we'll see you.